What is up, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here with a little bit of an updated video for you. Just got word from my boy, the Mexican, who's always got the inside scoop on Grand Theft Auto with updates in that. And according to him, tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, could be midnight tonight, could be midnight tomorrow night, depending on where you are in the world, GTA is going to be doing yet another update. Now, he did say that uh, being that they are only stunt series and race series updates, we may be okay as far as script hook and rage and LSPDFR and all that. But I'm going to show you a couple of steps as I have in the past, but I know y'all like these newer videos. I'm going to show you a couple of steps to prepare yourself just in case it throws our game through a loop. Okay. Now let's say these updates come out in LSPDFR, Script Took V, Rage. Let's say they all need to update, right? But you don't want to wait and you're still going to want to play LSPDFR. If you play just regular Grand Theft Auto with no mods and no Rage, this video is not for you. This is for all my LSPDFR slash modder fam out there. Um, do these couple of steps to make sure you are covered, okay? Here's what you want to do. First thing you want to do is locate your main directory, okay? By doing that, you're going to go to your disk drive that you have it installed in. This is going to be for Steam, by the way. Um, you're going to hit your disk drive that you have your game installed in. Uh, go to Program Files Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Right in here, you're going to see your Grand Theft Auto folders, okay? I'm going to go to mine because I have mine located in a different drive. Uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, and Common. And here's all my Grand Theft Auto. I actually only have six this time. I usually have about nine of them. But double-click your Grand Theft Auto V folder. Um, you only need to double-click one. If you have multiple files, just double-click one, and here's what you're going to do. Now, if you scroll down and you hover above this GTA 5, it's going to tell you the version right there. So 2245.0, okay? Up here, go to your desktop, create new. Go to folder. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to type in GTA, GTA V. Oops. Nope. Didn't want to do that. What was the, I forgot the, the, I forgot which one it was again. Let's see here. This is 2245. Okay. So we want to rename this. We want to rename it to uh, GTA. Let's just do it again. GTA 5. 2245.0 just like that hit enter all right so you know this is going to be the reverted uh file now here's what you can here's what you want to do there's going to be four files in here that you want it's going to be the gta 5 hold your control key you're going to select the gta 5 language select the gta 5 launcher and scroll down a little bit till you see play gta 5 all right you got all four of those selected right drag them and take them to that 22.5 folder okay and now once they're in there they are in there now <laughs> when gta 5 updates tomorrow or whenever it updates for you and you can no longer you go to launch rage and it says that this version is not supported or whatever you're simply going to let your gta update because you got to let it update in your common folder you know you can go to steam and you can update it through there and once it updates you're going to come back here to your main directory and these files right here will now say like it might say 225.1 whatever whatever version they name it you'll see right here you're simply going to open up this 2245.0 folder and you're going to grab all these files and you're going to drop them in right here okay now once you do that and rage and script took they all update all you're simply going to do is go to steam okay and you're going to go to uh the library and you're going to go to grand theft auto and you're going to right click and go to properties then you're going to go to local files and you're going to verify integrity once you do that it will automatically update these older files that you put in your new newly updated gta i hope you understand and i'll drop another video this is if we have to do this. These updates might not affect us at all. Please try your game out. And once this update happens, I'm going to try it out 
And if it still lets us load in, great. We do not have to do this. This video is for nothing. But better to be prepared than not, right? So once we have these backed up, there is one more step we got to do. We can exit out of our uh, comment folder and hit your rock star and hold your shift key. Okay. And it's going to bring up the Rage plugin hook um, options here. You're going to want to go to game settings and you're going to want to go to backup game version right there. All right. You go to backup game version and click backup game version. It takes a few seconds depending on, see, mine's done quick. You are now backed up. Now, if I go to revert game version, right? It's going to say that the active one is right here, 225.0. Now, if GTA comes out with 225.1 and we're not able to play LSPDFR anymore, you will now be able to revert back to the 2245.0 because you just backed it up. Okay? So, here's the steps again. Real quick before I end this video, this is what you're going to want to do in the future. Well, future meaning tomorrow. Okay, you are going to, if you, if the update happens, your GTA updated, you try to launch rage and it says that the, the file is unsupported or, or, you know, you just, you can't play because now rage needs to be updated. If rage script hook and LSPDFR needs to be updated, you are going to go to your common folder, your GTA common folder, where we got these files from, you're going to open it. You're going to open this folder. You're going to grab all four of these and drop them in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your rage settings. You're going to go here to game settings. You're going to go to revert game. Okay. Get out of here. Um, you're going to go to revert game and it will give you the option to revert to the 2245.0. And you'll see there'll be two options here. You'll see the new one that will say uh, not. It'll say right here, not supported. And then you'll see this version right below it that says supported and it'll say something like switch. So you can switch back to this version. Okay. Once you do that, you're good to go. Now, let's say you're playing on the reverted version and now all of a sudden rage script hook V and LSPDFR updated or whichever ones need it. You need all three of those to update if needed. Um, you are then going to simply go back to steam or you could just do it right here in your rage once everything is updated you're going to come in here and go to game settings and you are going to go to revert game okay and you are going to go back to the 2245.1 right once you do that you can click right here verify integrity of game once you do that it will automatically change your common folder to the newer 2245.1 all right um, and that is it. So for right now, all you have to do, your only two jobs right now is to copy these files to this folder. Like I showed you those four files to a folder that's labeled 2245.0. Okay. And then go into rage, go to game settings and click this backup, click the backup game version and backup current version. All right, you're gonna back it up and you'll see it. It'll do that little colorful little kaleidoscope thing and then disappear. You're good to go. <laughs> Excuse me, once GTA updates, I will let y'all know if there's anything we need to do, if we need to revert back or if we're good to go. All right, y'all. And I wanna also put out another uh, announcement that if, if for some reason this update makes Rage, makes Script Hook V, makes LSPDFR have to update their versions. I, we as modders and content creators do not know when these updates are going to be available through script hook rage and LSPDFR. We do not know that our guess is this is as good as your guess. So, um, all we can do is hope that they're quick. Um, but doing these two steps will allow you to still play LSPDFR while we wait for them to be updated. So do these two steps. When the update happens, I will get right back to y'all and let you know if there's anything we have to do. And if there is, I'll do another video on it. Hope this helped y'all. Mexican, thanks for coming through, brother. I appreciate you, man. Love you, man. Big love to you. Um, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is out.
Later, y'all.